my channel for part two of the 80s, totally 80s throwback Thursday 80s for, uh, again, part two. I will go ahead and link uh, part one down in the description box if I don't forget by the end of this video um, so that you guys can go ahead and check that out so you can kind of hear the backstory as to why we're doing this whole 80s themed party, who we're throwing it for, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to go ahead and go with some of my finds that I found on Amazon for this party. Now, um, I am going to open some of this stuff because I have yet to open it either. So, like, to see it. So, the first thing I bought from Amazon was, and sorry about the glare, was these little box, um... boom boxes um i bought them with in mind to make as centerpieces because i originally was looking at centerpieces i feel like at party city if i'm not mistaken because i was already looking at other things at party city um and came across a uh a centerpiece but it was just it was outrageously expensive for that one piece I was like yeah right so I got this pack I want to say there's eight in here in the pack if I'm not mistaken so let me assemble one Oof. so yeah it's just this little I'm not gonna fold it right now because I don't want to gunk it up but um it's just this retro boom box it's decorated on all sides so i was gonna put like some kind of weight in there i guess to set it on the tables um to go with the theme uh, how do i close that I I don't. Um, anyways so the next thing i bought was this pack at um Wow, I'm just realizing I have to assemble this crap. Anyways, so I bought this pack from Amazon as well of these pieces. Well, I, I, I won't take this out of the bag. You can just see like through it here. But it's a bunch of these cutouts that have like, it's got 80 of their stuff in there, like the, you know, the boom box, you know, different little like statement pieces of 80s. And then they have the little swirls in the back, the things that hang from the ceiling. That's what these are. But I think they give it to you. They give it to you um, in pieces like this. Because I think you can just opt out of the string. And put them on like tape them on the wall or something. So this next thing. I am going to take this out. But I haven't seen it yet. Um, this is a banner. To go on one side of the wall. Oh wow. I thought this was gonna be like the Dollar Tree um, tablecloth material. This is actual cloth. Whoa. Um. Wow. That's that's awesome. Anyway, so it says I'm gonna. That's too long for me to. So it says I heart, and then it's got that boombox there, and then it says. 80s and it's got all the cool little like it's got the sneakers it's got the Rubik's cube this is so cute I like this I'm so shocked about that even in the picture and even in the packaging it looks like that Dollar Tree um, tablecloth material that's crazy I'm completely mind blown right now wow that's awesome because even if like I could possibly reuse it, you know, if ever, you know, for whatever reason we do a party like this again. That's cool. So this next Amazon purchase was one another one of the very first things that I bought um, for this party. And I have been eyeballing to do this for somebody for a long time. And it is, so she, being that she turned, the person who I'm throwing this for is turning 50, um, 
She was born in 1972. So I got this banner. I, you can't see the whole thing. Maybe I can do like a video of it later. But it's just got all of the things that were popular during that time. So it's got like the 70s slang. 70s style, famous people born during that time. It's got, um, what else is it? It's got the, uh, the capacity, the, um, the population. It's got the average cost of things. It's got, uh, what was popular in the news, on the radio, on TV, in the movies. Like, I love this. It's so pretty. I wish they would have had it in, like, the themed colors. Because this is more, um, like if I would have done, if you watched the, the first video, I would talk about how um, I was in between the 80s theme and uh, the Great Gatsby. And I feel like these color schemes would have been better like with that Great Gatsby theme. I wish they would have had um, it in like a neon -y colors or just different colors. Than those but that's still pretty it's still really pretty uh anyway so next let me jump into walmart walmart i'm gonna jump into walmart okay so i got at walmart plates Ooh, plates yes i got plates and they're all neon colored. So I got two of each. So I got two of the blue, two of the green, two of the pink, and two of the yellow. They actually match the paper on this thing perfectly. Like maybe the blue's a little bit off, but everything else, perfect. I probably didn't need to buy that many, but these are like that, um, the cheapy Walmart brand. So I wanted to get a couple so people could double up on the plates, uh, so that nothing falls. I also got three of this, um, culinary set. It's a 24 piece of the forks, spoon, and knives. Now these colors are a little off from the neon. This is, I think... This is just more rainbowy than anything, but close enough. We'll just have to deal with it. So at my parties, I like to throw, um, or not throw, but do games. I like to have my guests up and interacting, you know, even though it's just the family that's always here. But we like to do games like that. We like to do drinking games, you know, being involved, getting up and, and being active in the parties. So I had already bought for my husband's birthday party back in April some dice, like the big foam dice from Dollar Tree um, for a game, but which I'm also going to be playing this game at this party that we're throwing in the 80s party. Um, but I just thought it would be cool to get these, um, their glow in the dark dice for that game, you know, when it gets darker. I mean, I'm pretty sure because of the fact that we have those uh, those string lights outside, you might not be able to see the glow, but I just thought it was cool. Something new and different. And there's three of them, they're really squishy. I don't know why that matters, but I'm just, yeah. Like I said, you probably won't be able to tell the glow at night because of the fact that we're going to have those lights on outside, but I mean, so I also got this big old jumbo wumbo uh, thing of cups. It's got 120 cups in them. I use this from, you know, actual drinking cups to party game cups because a lot of um, the games that I throw involve cups. So. I, um, and most of my games are found on Pinterest, if not all of them. I, once in a while, I'll go onto Google, but mo majority of my games are found on Pinterest. 
and the majority of them are cup games. So I like to get the big thing because we really do need them. So I also found a little bit left over from the last party. So I do have these in case of anything. These I had bought in, I don't remember, but it was a while back. It was a long time ago and I had some left over. But these are from Walmart. I believe they sell them in another color. I can't, I can't remember. But um, but yeah, I have those left over. These I have left over also, which are perfect. They're neon color. These are not from Walmart. These are from uh, Specs, which is I don't know where they have those around the world, but it's like a it's a liquor store. So they had that here. So I, it's a neon blue, neon green, neon orange, neon pink that are in there. I'm kind of debating if I should go get more of those, but I don't think so. So I also got these, these, well, these are from, um, these are just leftover um, works from other parties, but I wanted to throw it in here because it's part of the haul. Anyways, so we're done with Walmart. I'm gonna do now my last couple items that are from our local store, HEB. Um, it's the Texas, you know, the Texas grocery store, like in, you know, Michigan, it's Meyer, Colorado, it's Kroger. Um, I don't know anywhere else what their stores are, but you get my drift. Um, so we, typically do most if not all of our shopping at HEB so I picked up some items there I got these to-go cup things that I'm gonna do um, uh, jello shots in on those they come with the lid they have it's a 50 count it is it says leak resistant BPA free and recyclable so I got those to make some jello shots. And then I got these here. Now I came across a lot of cool different candles um, at like 99 cent store and stuff, but I just thought these, I got these first. So I was like, you know what? Let's just stick with them. It's the, well, whatever way you put it, it looks wrong. Um, these, are like sparklers. So you light them up from one area and then they sparkle all the way down. Uh, we're not big cake eaters, so we're not getting a really big cake. Um, but we did, I am getting a cake just for the main purpose of singing happy birthday. That's pretty much it. Um, but we're not big cake eaters. We always have a ton left over, like a ton. So I also got more extra uh, culinary items just in case um, we ran out of those. We shouldn't, but even if we don't use these, I save whatever's left of, you know, anything from a party I throw, I always keep it to use it for the next one. So I got these. We're always throwing barbecues. We're always doing gatherings here at our house. So these are handy to keep around. Also a good thing to keep around, we have a bunch of kids in our family and they are dirty, disgusting little things. So we got two of these. Should probably get more, but I got two of those for now. So yeah, that is the end of this second part to the two-part haul of the 80s throwback to the 80s party that I'm throwing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, check in the description box down below for the link to part one. Um, part one. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Um, trying to, you know, push myself out of the, um, procrastinating bubble that I've been in and 
making more content and putting it out there. And with that being said, this right here is being pre-filmed. I'm pre-filmed a lot of other, you know, content as well so that I can kind of get ahead of it and post out things so I can start bringing in subscribers and people watching. So thank you very much again, and I will see you next time. Keep an eye out for the vlog for this. I'm going to vlog it. Okay, yeah, excuse the background, but I did say I was going to go and do, like, a shot of this. So that's the boombox. This is the Tetris box with the MTV 80s on the other side. And the bottom one has all four corner, all four corners, all four sides are covered in to make look like the Rubik's Cube. Um, right before the party, I'm going to go back over this and tape slash glue down anything else that, because these have been sitting in here for a while. So there's some of them like, look over here, like this one's bending over just because it's been there for such a while. But I'm going to go over a lot of it to, um to re-tape it down which i'm sure it'll get ruined within the first couple hours not even like the first couple minutes more or less um but yeah this is to make a photo prop with i'll definitely have to vlog this party to show how i ended up setting it up but i got this idea off of pinterest